A low random person who I assume is both intelligent and good looking. What is up guys, Rick Hackis here, here with the overview of the Hyperion Assault Rifle in Borderlands 2. Now you may be saying, there is no Hyperion Assault Rifle. Exactly. This is an overview of what this gun might be like if they add it to the game. Now a lot of people say that, you know, the guns, the missing types of the guns are missing for a reason. They don't fit with the manufacturer, they don't fit with the game. I totally disagree. These uh, series of videos are meant to show that it is easy to add these missing gun types and it would add a ton of new flair to the game and a ton of new customization and more loot, which we all love. So the stats. The damage is 25,000 to 50,000. And I should mention these are level 61 stats. Accuracy, high 80s to 90s. Fire rate, 9 to 17. Reload speed, 4 seconds plus. Magazine size, 15 to 40. Elements, any. <clears throat> so, this gun is basically a military sniper, a military rifle. The actual military something. I was thinking when I was playing Borderlands, there's not really any just normal assault rifle that resembles anything in real life today. I either have to go burst fire or just have a ridiculously low damaging, slow firing uh, bandit one um, or a super quick shooting Vladoff one, which actually doesn't really do that much damage. This, this assault rifle is meant so that, um, if you look at the damage, very, very high damage, especially the upper ones, 50,000, those would definitely be the rarest of the rare purple. Um, 25,000, you know, 30,000, 40,000, that's more common. Accuracy, very high accuracy, as with all Hyperion guns. The fire rate is also very high. Starting at 9, those would be kind of like the worst ones, going up to 17. You may, in Borderlands 2, there like is no gun that goes up to 17. But in Borderlands 1, you could find them all the time. Borderlands 1 was a lot more loosey-goosey with the barriers, and I think uh, 17 fire rate is not ridiculous at all, especially if you look at the magazine size, only 15 to 40. 40 would be, again, the top tier of purples. Like, you would find it, and it would almost be as good if not better than the legendaries just because um again it would be super hard to find something uh, a, ma a magazine size of 40 but again the reload speed four seconds plus basically what i'm thinking the overview of this gun is it's kind of like a military r rifle where that it has a s decently small magazine size but the damage is very high and the accuracy is very high so um after only about, since the Hyperion Sniper Rifle starts off not very accurate, after only about, you know, 3, 4, maximum 5 shots, uh, it would get very, very accurate. And what this would do is it would kind of make you and force you to shoot fully automatic the whole time. Because you've already wasted, you know, 3, 4 shots getting it accurate, you want to keep that accuracy and put the maximum amount of damage downrange as possible. Now... This coupled with the very slow magazine or very small magazine size and also the very high fire rate means that you can easily just blow through one enemy or even two, but then what are you gonna do? You have to reload. That's where the four second plus reload comes in uh, comes into play, is that with this type of gun, you're not gonna be necessarily looking for the highest damage and the highest accuracy and the highest fire rate. You're going to be looking for the best reload speed, looking because, you know, they all have very high damage and a high accuracy and high fire rate. You're going to be the main stat with this type of gun is going to be the reload speed, trying to find something that reloads quickly so you can take down a few guys, reload and take down more. Whereas, you know, if you, if you find one that has, you know, 45,000 damage, it might have an eight, seven, a seven or eight second reload speed, which, you know, usually we think is reserved for rock launchers, but I see no reason why it can't be brought into other guns. And for that, uh, and that way, this gun is almost like, you know, a medium to long range, almost snipe rifle. You know, you take down guys, you have to stick to the long ranges because you're going to be punished for reloading. Definitely, it'll be able to kill people, multiple enemies, very quickly. But, you know, how many enemies can you really kill with a magazine of only 20? And so I think that adds a, a huge new aspect to the game, uh, would be really fun to have uh, as a new weapon type in the game. 
Um, the legendaries would basically be, I think, one legendary should definitely just have it, you know, uh, would be a good Hyperion Assault Rifle, and then it would just have a box magazine, or like a drum magazine, have like 150 rounds, and it would just be like, kind of like the hammer from Black Ops 2, where it's just very accurate, has that massive drum magazine, and it's just a really, really good gun. I think that would be awesome to have as a legendary gun. Um, yeah. Leave your comments in the comment section. Do you have your ideas for your own Hyperion Assault Rifle? Do you agree with me that this is a good idea? Do you disagree with me? Let's get a discussion going in the comments because I really think Borderlands should add some add, like new gun types to the game and increase the flair, bring some new flavor into the game, and definitely get that looting going because I know we all love loot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Have a good day.